Hello everyone. So today we will be uh, deploying our traditional Express app. So for that we will use this uh, Amazon Elastic Beanstalk. So firstly what you have to do, you have to create your account in AWS and then set your location to your uh, nearest one. So for me it is Mumbai, India. Now I will come here, and, uh, create application. So if you can see there are too many options here. So we will select this web server environment and I will give my application name, let's say blog backend. Okay. Similarly, like uh, environment name will be auto generated and we'll leave this and we will select our uh, platform as Node.js because it is express. Now we will upload our code here. So we can provide any name here, uh, version label, let's say a backend blog v1 and we will upload a file here so for that file what we have to do so let's come here so this is my express app here so what i will do i will uh, first i have deleted the node modules now what you have to do select all and compress it okay So after compressing, if you can see, I will select this. Now I will click on next. And also uh, for the code, what we have to do. So we have to rename our index.js to app.js. Similarly, we have to change it here uh, in package.json. So the main will be app.js and here start, we will have to set like node app.js rest all the changes will be same and uh, if you know like we have to set our environment variables in dot env file so we will put it there all the critical information and now oh, this is the main thing uh, where most of the people are stuck so we have to select some existing roles here i am roles so i have a couple of roles here uh, and i have some ec2 pair also and um, ec2 instance profile so how do we create all this? So now let's come to here, mm, uh, I am. So if you go to services, you go to I am here. Okay, now go to roles, go to create role. So firstly, I will create a role for our, my Beanstalk. Uh, select it customizable, okay. Click on next. Okay, then next and provide it uh, any name like log backend user, something like that, and bin stock. Now I will select on create role. So I have created a, another user, another role. Now, what I have to do, I have to create a role for uh, our EC2. Oh, let's select EC2 here. Click on next. And we have to provide certain permissions like EC2 admin access. Full access, sorry. EC2 full access and S3 read only access. So these are the two permissions we have to provide. Now click on next and provide uh, put a name here log backend ec2 access now create role okay so we have the roles ready now what we have to do we have to come here back to our initial configuration and you can see uh, sorry you can see uh, it is here user beanstalk i will select that we need to select an ec2 key pair okay so i have created one already so you can uh, create from here um, ec2 key pairs and you can create a key pair by just providing a name and you will get the data here so i have already created and i will select that and as a, we have already created this uh, ec2 access now go to next 
and select your VPC, whatever it is, and you can select all the zones here. And for database subnets also, select all. Go to next. Uh, leave whatever the details here are and here you can select a uh, default EC2 security groups and rest of the details you can leave whatever it is now select on next you don't have to do anything here select next uh, yeah so we have to provide our environment properties here so as we already discussed right uh, we have these dot env uh, all the environment variables in dot env so we have to provide all those here in environment properties so add them here and then click on next now your setup is ready and then click on submit since i have already done the setup using all these details only so i will show you here in my elastic even so i have this and it is uh, running here so you will see all these kinds of uh, events here like uh, this create environment is starting created security group and successfully launched environment so after this uh, if you need to test that right so you will get a, a domain here you can say, copy that domain and go to postman okay so let me copy it here okay sorry so i will copy this and i will post paste it here in the postman so i have i know the api right uh, so i have this post sorry post so if you can see i have got the response it means like my backend is running so express is working fine here so this is it so this is how you can deploy your express app in amazon elastic beanstalk and it is free it is a free tire so you can deploy it for free so if you have any issues please write in the comment box and feel free to subscribe thank you